In my previous video titled Fatty Acid Metabolism, I've covered how saturated fatty acid is synthesized by fatty acid synthase. In this video, I'm going to cover the biosynthesis of unsaturated fatty acids, which contains one or more double bonds, and eicosanoids, which are derived from polyunsaturated fatty acids. To recap, synthesis of the 16-carbon saturated fatty acid palmitate requires 8-acetyl-CoA, which are converted to the 3-carbon malonyl-CoA by acetyl-CoA carboxylase, coupled to ATP hydrolysis. Malonyl-CoA can then undergo 7 rounds of 4 repeating steps of condensation and reduction, catalyzed by fatty acid synthase, releasing 8-carbon dioxide and producing palmitate. Palmitate can undergo desaturation at the 9th carbon by fatty acyl-CoA desaturase which is located in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum of the liver, to produce palmitoleate. Fatty acyl-CoA desaturase is a mixed-function oxidase, in which the oxidation of fatty acyl-CoA is coupled to the reduction of oxygen to water, and the oxidation of 2-iron cation in 2-cytochrome B5, which is subsequently reduced by cytochrome B5 reductase by coupling to the oxidation of FADH2 to FAD. FAD is ultimately reduced to FADH2 by coupling to the oxidation of NADPH to NADP+. Therefore, the net reaction involves simultaneous oxidation of fatty acyl-CoA and NADPH and the reduction of oxygen to water. Likewise, the 18-carbon saturated fatty acid stearate can be desaturated at the 9th carbon by fatty acyl-CoA desaturase to produce oleate. Mammals cannot synthesize additional double bonds between carbon-10 and the methyl terminal end. Only plants and other microbes contain desaturates that can oxidize phosphatidylcholine bound oleate to synthesize polyunsaturated fatty acids linoleate, which is an omega-6 fatty acid, as well as alpha-linoleate, which is an omega-3 fatty acid. Recall that omega refers to a carbon at the methyl terminal end. Therefore, omega-6 fatty acids contain double bonds ending at the 6 carbon from the methyl terminal, whereas omega-3 fatty acids contain double bonds ending at the third carbon from the methyl terminal. Since double bonds usually occur in three carbons interval, we can infer all the double bond locations simply from the number of double bonds and the omega number of the last double bond. In this case, we can infer that the 18-carbon linoleate contains two double bonds that are located at the 9th and 12th carbons, and the 18-carbon alpha linoleate contains three double bonds located at the 9th, 12th, and 15th carbons. Linoleate and alpha-linoleate are considered essential fatty acids since mammals can't synthesize them and must acquire them from diets. Alpha-linoleate serves as a precursor to other omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids, such as EPA and DHA. First, alpha-linoleate is desaturated at the 6th carbon, followed by elongation and desaturation at the 5th carbon to produce the omega-3 fatty acid EPA, which stands for icosapentanoic acid. EPA can be elongated to the 22-carbon omega-3 DPA, which stands for docosa pentanoic acid. In plants, DPA can be desaturated at the 4th carbon to produce DHA, which stands for docosa hexanoic acid. However, animals lack delta-4 desaturase and relies on another pathway known as the Spreacher pathway to synthesize DHA. First, DPA is elongated to the 24-carbon omega-6 TPA which stands for tetracosa pentanoic acid. TPA is subsequently desaturated at a 6th carbon to produce the 24-carbon omega-3 THA, which stands for tetracosa hexanoic acid. THA can then undergo one round of beta oxidation to produce the 22-carbon omega-3 DHA. Notice that these omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids are named using prefixes that refer to the number of carbons and the number of double bonds. For the first prefix, abbreviated as the first letter, E stands for icosa, which refers to 20 carbon, D stands for decosa, which refers to 22 carbon, and T stands for tetracosa, which refers to 24 carbons. For the second prefix, abbreviated as the second letter, P stands for penta, which refers to 5 double bonds, H stands for hexa, which refers to 6 double bonds. From these prefixes, we can infer that EPA is a 22-carbon fatty acid with 5 double bonds, whereas DHA is a 22-carbon fatty acid with 6 double bonds. On the other hand, linoleate serves as a precursor to other omega-6 polyunsaturated fatty acids. First, linoleate is desaturated at a 6-carbon to form gamma-linoleate, which is subsequently elongated to the 20-carbon dihomo-gamma-linolenic acid, abbreviated as DGLA. 
Desaturation of the fifth carbon of DGLA produces arachidonate, which is a 20-carbon omega-6 fatty acid with four double bonds at the 5th, 8th, 11th, and 14th carbons. So far, I've covered the biosynthesis of several major polyunsaturated fatty acids. In the last part of the video, I'm going to cover eicosanoid biosynthesis. Eicosanoids are a family of very potent biological signaling molecules that act as local regulators. Certain stimuli can trigger phospholipase A2 to attack membrane phospholipid, releasing a arachidonin from the middle carbon of glycerol. The enzyme cyclooxygenase, abbreviated as COX, can convert arachidonate to prostaglandin H2, abbreviated as PGH2, in two steps. First, cyclooxygenase activity introduces molecular oxygen to convert arachidonate to prostaglandin G2. Next, the peroxidase activity of COX converts prostaglandin G2 to prostaglandin H2. Prostaglandin H2 then serves as a precursor to other prostaglandins including prostaglandin E2, D2, F2 alpha, and prostaglandin I2, which is also known as prostacyclin. Mammals have two isozymes of COX. COX-1 is responsible for the synthesis of the prostaglandins that regulate secretion of gastric mucin, which protects our gastrointestinal tract from acid and microbes, whereas COX-2 is responsible for the synthesis of prostaglandins that mediate inflammation, pain, and fever. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs abbreviated as NSAIDs, relieve pain by inhibiting COX-2. Aspirin and ibuprofen inhibit both COX-1 and COX-2. Inhibition of COX-1 can result in undesired side effects, including stomach irritation and more serious conditions. A newer class of NSAIDs have a greater specificity for COX-2, including rofecoxib, voldecoxib, and salicoxib. In the blood platelets called thrombocytes, Thromboxane synthase converts prostaglandin H2 to thromboxane A2, from which other thromboxanes are derived. Thromboxanes induce vasoconstriction and platelet aggregation, which are early steps in blood clotting. Low doses of aspirin taken regularly reduce the probability of heart attacks and strokes by reducing thromboxane production. On the other hand, the enzyme lipoxygenase catalyzes the linear pathway for incorporation of molecular oxygen into arachidonate, producing 5 hydroperoxy icosa tetranoate, abbreviated as 5-HPETE, which undergoes several more reactions to convert to leukotriene A4, abbreviated as LTA4. This linear pathway is not inhibited by NSAIDs. Besides arachidonates, DGLA and EPA can also serve as precursors to eicosanoids. DGLA is a precursor to prostaglandin H1, prostacyclin 1, thromboxin A1, and leukotriene 3, while EPA is a precursor to prostaglandin H3, prostacyclin 3, thromboxin A3, and leukotriene 5.